Oh, come on. <laughs> Practice what you preach. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You all pray. See. You sure you don't want to sing one? You got one on your heart. Okay. Y'all pray tonight. I, I thank God for what uh, God's done in my life. And sometimes we get caught up in this world and we think about the things of the world and we lose sight on who God really is. Amen. Or what we really have in this man called Jesus. And I thought about a lot. I, I talked to a lot of people and, and uh, seems like uh, here lately all we talk about is religion. And... Uh, they asked me a question this evening about what I thought about religion. They named off I don't know how many different religions. And I told them, I said, it's not of God, it's man-made. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I've had scripture run all over my mind all evening. And when I sat down, the scripture came to my mind. When I went to pray, the still scripture came to my mind. And... Uh, so you pray real hard tonight. Um, there's thousands of religions. Man-made doctrine. There's hundreds of different gods that people's made and images they worship. Amen. But according to the Word of God, the Bible said, amen, that evil men and seducers would wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. The Bible said in the last days that they'd run to and fro and their knowledge being increased, but never come into the knowledge of the truth. Amen. amen. The Bible said, Amen. Pray, Lord, you better pray just a minute. Shoot. I get excited. The Bible said that the hireling cometh but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. But Christ said, I came to give life and life more abundantly. Amen. amen. Now, over in the Word of God, the Bible says that salvation is of the Lord. Amen. amen. All right. Now, they teach and, and tell about all kinds of things, but I'm going to preach this a little bit tonight. God being my helper and praise be unto God, I, I, I get excited and can't hardly stand it when I know, amen, me and Brother Eric was talking going to work this morning. And amen, we was talking about don't it feel good to know that you're right. Amen. amen. Don't it feel good to know that you're right. Praise God. Amen. amen. And people, say, they've said a whole lot of things to me, brother. But I know that I'm right tonight because I am living by the Word of God. Amen. And I know what I'm going to preach to you tonight is right and it's rock solid and there's no question in my mind and I don't have to wonder about it whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong because I'm fixing to preach to you right out of the Word of God and it's right. The Bible said let God be true and every man a liar. Can I get an amen? Come on church, praise God. Are you steadfast in what you believe? Praise God, I am a Man, there's only one salvation and it's of the Lord, brother. I'm going to go over here in the Word of God in the book of Acts in the fourth chapter, if you will. You go with me and then I'm going to the twelfth chapter of the book of Revelation. Came to my mind tonight and I'm going to preach a little bit, praise God. And I thank God that what I've got is not religion, but it's old time sin killing salvation. Amen. And it'll make a difference, I love you. You see religion because you look down he knows it, people. Hey, man, religion will leave you in a liquor bottle or in the drug, hey, man. Hey, religion will keep you alive and a cheating and a cussing, hey, man. But praise God, salvation will make a new creature out of you. Can I get an amen? Apostle Paul, hey, man, that once was called Saul, hey, man, praise God, when he got down to the road to Damascus, Saul even held the coat of a man that stoned old Stephen, hey, man, and all that he done was told him a truth. He said, if you'd have known who he was talking about Jesus, he said, yeah, man, you wouldn't have stolen, you wouldn't have killed him, amen. Praise be unto God, if he'd have known who he was, they wouldn't have put him to death. Praise God. So they stoned Stephen to death. But praise God, they saw the glory of God. Amen. Even old Saul saw it. Amen. The Bible said that he shone his face, shone as a face of an angel. The glory of God is upon him. And the Bible said he looked up. And he said, I see Jesus. I, I stand at the right hand of the Father. Praise God. A testimony. I believe Jesus stood up to welcome another child home. And then when he got to the road to Damascus and God struck him with blindness, the Bible said there's a voice come out of heaven. And Paul, who Saul said, who is it that persecuted? Oh, 
Oh, Lord. Hey, man, Jesus spoke and he said, Saul, Saul, what persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, I am Jesus, who thou is persecuting. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. And when Saul was converted and his eyes were opened, amen. Bible said that God spoke to a man called Ananias. And he says, You go pray with a man called Saul on the road to Damascus on the way called Straight. And Ananias said, Lord, I've heard and know what he's done to your people. Amen. He said, I've already told this man what he was suffered for life, my name's sake. He said, He's looking for a man called Ananias to come and pray with him. Amen. And his eyes might be open. Amen. When they, hey, when the man of God went and prayed with him, brother, and he is converted his eyes open. Amen. They changed his name to Paul. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's a new creature. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He quit persecuting God's people and went to preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who look at him? Amen. He told King Agrippa over well, there, he said, when he went to answer the questions, he said, I thank myself to be happy. He said, I can answer for myself. Amen. And King Agrippa said, Thou hast almost persuaded me to become a Christian. You know, that's a, millions of people are sitting right there in that boat right today. They've heard the gospel and they've seen the power of God, but they still ain't been born again because they've never given their life to Jesus Christ. Amen. And without that, they'll die without God. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know I'm telling you the truth. Amen. Amen. But when old Saul became Paul, amen, he began to preach about a man, a man called Jesus. And I'm going to preach about him in a minute. But praise God, old Paul began to preach to the churches, amen. The religious crowd. Amen. The Romans over there, he told them, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Amen. Behold, all things are passed away, and behold, all things become new, brother. Amen. amen. He knew that there was a, a man called Jesus and a faith that was so real that it changed men and women's life when they believed on him. Amen. 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 Lord God, brother. Amen. Praise God. He told him in the Roman church, he said. How can we that are dead to sin live any longer than any? He said, God forbid. Amen. 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 This is what? Paul was a devout man, and the Bible said he died daily. The Bible said he had a, had a thorn in the flesh, and the, and the devil came to buffet him with it, and he twisted that. You know what that was? I believe that's the desires of the flesh, amen, that Paul was tormented with. You see, Paul wasn't a married man. Paul was a single man. He said, I would that you was like I am. Amen. Praise be unto God. He knew what it took to serve God and the power of God. But praise God, brother, that thorn he buffeted him with. The Bible said that Paul prayed for God to remove it and take it away. And God just looked at him and said, My grace is sufficient, amen. amen. For every need in your life, brother, the grace of God is still sufficient. Praise God, Jerry. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. No matter how bad the devil fights, praise God, they still grace for every need, sister. Hallelujah. Praise God, you want to get closer, sister. He said, draw mine to me, and I will draw mine to you. I don't care what the devil says. Ain't none of us worthy. Amen. Praise God. The only thing that makes David lives worthy is the blood. That's going to be lying in my life. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. Woo! And they call me crazy. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Paul had something that was so real that when he feared, the, I don't know why Paul's on my mind. I'm just going to go ahead and preach. You don't fear, do you? The Bible said that Paul feared to go into a city and preach, and God told him, said, Fear not, Paul, for I have many people in this city. And he goes on, amen, praise God. And the Bible said, oh, Paul was going down the street. 
ministry of preaching in one place and the men of that city stoned him and knifed on him with their teeth and carried him out and laid him on a rock pile outside the city as a dead man. But praise God, I thank God. The one I'm about to preach about reached down and touched the man of God. And you know what happened to him? I, he got up and went right on back down the street of preaching. I, I bet there's some converted in. I, when they saw a dead man get up, preaching. When they, I'd like to sing their praise. When they heard the voice uh, of the one that stoned. Uh, amen. Come back down and preach. And amen. You can't stop the gospel. I got to preach a little this evening. Yeah, they think I'm crazy anyway. Down out in the bank. I don't care if it's a bank or Walmart or whatever. Amen? You know, the Bible speaks about, praise God, two churches over in Revelation. I ain't going to get in on that. Amen. I'll give you something to study about. They won't know about religion and the cults of this world, praise God. They're false churches. Amen. They're deceivers. I'll go back to that, Brother Ronnie. If you go over there in the book of Revelation and search it out, I ain't going to tell you where it's at. You don't have to search for it. The Bible said there was a, a beast they made that came out of the earth and he was like it to a lamb. And he had two horns. And he got his power from the first beast. That old dragon, amen. The devil, praise God. But I thanks be unto God for the next lamb that they showed in the land. Hey, the word of God. The lamb of the tribe of Judah, amen. Hey, listen, praise God, the lamb of the tribe of Judah. The Bible said a lamb that's slain from the land. I'll get to preach that one of these days. I gotta stay on what I'm gonna preach. You better pray just a minute. I'm about to get way over yonder somewhere. <laughs> My God, I can't stand it. Reason people can't see it, they ain't saved. I gotta preach a little. Lord God, I know what I've got. Hey Amen. I told them down at the bank this evening, I said, don't tell me what I got in real. God take an alcoholic and make a preacher out of me. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God, amen. Don't tell me what God can do. I know how I've got, amen. Lord have mercy, praise God. Huh? The problem in the world today, in the churches of the world today, that they've let it leveling in. The leveling of the Pharisees, the teachings of man. Praise God, they brought it right in the church house. And praise God, it's killed the power of God because they pushed God out and took man's word. Can I get an amen? Praise God. But the Bible said to lift up the standards before people, amen. They that they might know. There's a true way. There's standards in the house. I ain't gonna get this. I gotta preach a little. I gotta preach a little. I, I, I worked you up to this. You get this. <laughs> Amen. Whew, I can't hardly stand it. Can't hardly stand it. As people push you around, praise God, and get you just to go along with what they say. You're not steadfast. Amen. Brother's been teaching about steadfastness. Amen. Come on. And sober minded. Huh? Seriousness. Sober minded. The brother explained it so good to a while that I still ain't got over it. They don't wonder the devil's trying to kill you. Amen. Amen. He don't want you to teach this book. Amen. Praise God. He don't want you to think about yourself as being victorious. Amen. Amen. He'd like to keep you down. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, brother, get up. Amen. 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 Fourth chapter of the book of Acts, amen. Tenth, eleventh, and twelfth verse. I want to read now. I'm going to the twelfth chapter of Revelation. The Bible said, Be it in the tenth verse, fourth chapter of the book of Acts. He said, Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, 
whom God raised from the dead, even by Him that this man stand here before you whole. Amen? You want to know why I'm here saved by the grace of God? It's by no other name but Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. They can say it's Buddha. They can say it's Mary. They can say now Mary was a blessed woman. The Bible said she was chosen above all women to carry the seed of God. But I want you to know today, amen, she can't take the place of the child that was born. And in the name of Jesus, amen. Salvation is of the Lord. I'm going to preach a little. I don't care if it makes everybody mad. How many people need to know that this man called Jesus? You'll not get to heaven without him, amen. Praise God. Lord have mercy. The Bible said, Amen, let it be known to all people. Everybody. That by the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth is why this man stands here whole. Why are you where you at? It's because of the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord God's own. They hardly stand it. It's because of Jesus of Nazareth that you rose up and walked. It's because of the name of Jesus. That blessed name. The healer. Boy, my brain like to win enough. You better pray. The Bible said, let it be known to everybody. Here. Lord God, I'm going to get to this in a minute. You think the devil don't fight me, sister? He used to come around, I could feel him just as just, just, just real. I'd be a preaching the revival and start back up through oh, Buckley Road right by the dam. Them little curvy dark <coughs> roads, I wouldn't even look in the mirror because he was a sitting in the back seat, amen. I could feel the evil all over my car. Hey, amen. It's just like the devil was just ready to reach out and get a hold to me. Hey, amen. You ever felt that way? I have. Amen. 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 I wouldn't even look in the mirror. I'd just keep <coughs> turning the radio up and listening to Amen music and singing about Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God in a few amen. minutes. Praise God that old spirit would just leave because he knowed I wasn't going to love. Wasn't going to have nothing to do with it. One night in my bedroom, brother, there was a spirit woke me up and I could feel his breath every time he'd breathe. Amen. His, my hair would move. I could feel it. Amen. I breathed it on me just like he was right in my face. And Every breath, amen, the hot air would blow on my face. Hey, amen. Jeff and I was afraid to move because I knew if I did, Melinda would wake up and she'd see what was standing there. Praise God. I didn't want her to see it, amen, because I felt the presence of hell, amen. And sister, amen, it's just like you want me to wake up and look at him. And I just thought, my God, what am I going to do? The devil's right here breathing on me. Hey, amen. And I remember the word of God. Hey. What I'm about to preach hey. to you tonight. Say the blessed name in heaven. Amen. Like no other name. And I began to speak out the name of the Lord Jesus. I started calling out Jesus. I Jesus. I Jesus. Amen. And all it was, brother, is a breeze blowing through my bedroom. And the devil had to flee. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You see, I ain't asking you to believe that. It don't matter to me what you believe. It ain't going to hinder me one bit. Amen. Amen. Because I went to battle for most of you, praise God. You didn't even know it. Amen. And that name that I'm about to preach about, praise God, brought big to you. <laughs> can't hardly stand it, amen. I, I've got to preach. I feel so good, I can't hardly stand it. The Bible said, amen, now just pray just a minute. Let me give me a drink of water. It's about to get good. Oh my God. Pete, he's talking about getting stronger. 
You know, praise God, amen. The strength's always been there. You've just been afraid to use it. Amen, amen. praise God. To step out on faith. It's there. The power of God's there. you just got to, you got to step out and believe it, amen. Thank God. You know, when things happen and people's lives fall apart, the first thing the devil will tell you, take your life. Get out of it. You'd be better off dead than you are now. Well, that's a lie right out of hell. Amen. Hey, dear God, that's a devil that's wanting to take your life. Jesus is wanting to give you life. And Amen. 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 Praise God. Woo! The cow I'm about to fly. Bless him, Lord. Huh. Lord God, you better care. I got to get to what I was going to preach. Billy, it's a good get now. I don't know if I can stand it when I get there or not. The Bible said, Amen. Now listen. This is a stone which was set at naught of, of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Amen. And the Bible said, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. Woo! There ain't no other name under heaven given among men. Listen to me. Whereby men must be saved. Brother. Nobody else can do it. He said there's no other salvation in another. There ain't nothing. Amen. I'm going to preach a little. You better get ready. Amen. Have them to move it. Praise God. They know one of the devils trying to kill you. Amen. Huh? Amen. Lord. You always been a watching? He been watching you sit in church and shout. Amen. Amen. He comes to church better than anybody else. Amen. He's here every time the doors is open. Huh? Amen. Yeah, people think I'm crazy. Is it true? I feel the Lord know what the Lord sounds like, and I also feel evil. Bless him, Lord. Amen. And if you get where you are to be with God, you believe in that name, Jim. Amen. 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 The Bible said to try the spirits, brother. Let's see if they be of God. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I ain't gonna get in on that. You will think I'm a hole in this day, man. <laughs> oh my God. Now listen. Twelfth chapter of the book of Revelations, I pray to God you just turn with me. I want you to listen to what the word of God says. I'm so tore up I can't stand it. Sister. Don't you know before trouble ever comes that God's already got it under control? Amen. 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 Don't you know He's foreseen? And when you believe God, Amen, it'll make you stronger. When you see God move, when ain't nobody else can do it, it'll make you stronger, won't it? Huh? Yeah, you understand it, Drew. No other salvation. There's not another name under heaven. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Given unto you, Lord, by me must be saved. Amen. Oh, Lord God, bro. Buddha won't do it. Amen. Mohammed won't do it. Amen. Come on, man. Amen. Somebody might as well tell you. Amen. Amen. Lord God, brother. This started rolling through my mind this evening. I can see old Dargon. Oh, we honor, amen. Praise God when they brought the ark of the covenant of the Lord and they carried it away from the children of Israel. Amen. They brought it and they set it down. Oh, we honor the yard with old ark on their God, the statue that they to worship it. And when they got up the next morning, amen, the ark of the covenant was standing there. Amen. And old ark on was laid out on his face. And the Bible said, amen, they set him back up, left the ark where it was at, and praise God. Praise God, amen. Amen. The next morning, amen. Old Dark God has tore all the pieces, amen. Everywhere that they brought the Ark of the Covenant of God, amen, to a place where it ought not to be, it brought trouble, amen. Amen. They got to where they wouldn't even have it, so they sent it back home, amen. Praise be unto God. You want to know what happened? That, woo! You ever do without the power of God something you tasted, bro? Huh? When you see it coming, it'll make you happy. The Bible said, Amen. Oh my God, I'm about to fly. 
everybody. You know what I see down yonder, sister? I see a man of God that just about dried up. Yeah. Old David is down there, maybe. Oh my God. <laughs> he doesn't have to pray God in the face of the goodness of God for a while. And the Bible said he is out there, amen. Praise God. Amen. And they saw the ark of the covenant of the Lord coming down the road. You know what he done? Old David danced, amen. Danced in the street, amen. His wife made fun of him, amen. Thought that's some way for a king to act. But praise God, I'm here to tell you when you get a hold of the power of God, when you ain't felt it in a while, it'll make you act a little crazy. Can I get an amen? Praise God, amen. You go to hunger and thirst and after God and righteousness, amen, and God begins to fill you up to where you run over. Praise God, you'll dance. Amen, you'll cut a dido. I used to see them old people cut didos all the time, amen. Used to cut a few myself, amen. But it's getting in the day and time we live. you got to preach a week before you can get people in tune enough. Praise God to even feel the power of God. Amen, brother. I'll tell you what I prayed for this church. I prayed God send a Pentecostal meeting. Amen. 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 A real huh? yeah. I've been a praying clip. Praise God. He'd send one of the Pleasant Chapel Church where people have never shouted and shout. If you've never moved for God, you'd have to get up, praise God, and dance a little bit. So he preacher, that ain't of God. Praise God, you better read the book. Amen. Come on, hallelujah. I pray to God. That God is sweet through here to the extent that you're not to move, amen. Praise God, brother. Oh. It scares some of us today. Amen. Huh? I'd like to see everybody get just a little dose. Amen. Kids and all. Amen. I've been praying for these little kids to shout. Amen. What are you going to do, brother, when that little gets a dose of the Holy Ghost? Let's have a war hoop for God. Amen. Amen. Huh? This little one was sitting here singing. <laughs> what if the Holy Ghost had blown by? Hey. Woo! <laughs> uh, say they don't know enough about it, don't tell me. Hey. They're hey. pure hearted. Hey. 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 Come on. Hey. Say bless it. Oh my God. Hey. Oh, God. I'll be here all night. Hey. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Can't harness me. Hey. Hey. Hold on, man. Say it can't happen. Don't tell me it can. Amen. Huh? I was at a revival meeting one time, brother, and praise be unto God, everybody's talking about how dry it was. I wish they'd got sit down on my bench. <laughs> my God, the Holy Ghost would blow by my hair, had run up my back, the chills had run out across the top of my head. And I know the sister behind me is feeling the same thing I was. Because when it run across the top of my head, she let out a war hoop like scared everybody's dead. <laughs> hey man, come on now. Say, preacher, you're crazy. Honey, I'm telling you, she could shout and didn't make a hair stand up on your head. Praise God, she felt the same way I felt. Me and her know God was a moving. I don't know where everybody else was, Jeff. The preacher got up and he kept saying how dry he was. I just stood up and I said, brother, I don't know how it is up there. Maybe you ought to come back here and sit on this bed. No, I said, where I'm at, God's still good. This is powerful stuff. I don't care who's a preacher. Amen. Amen. Can't hardly stand it. I just want to get deeper in the Holy Ghost. I'd like to wait out Sister Louise where I can swim a little bit. Hey Amen. I'd like to get in that river coming from the threshold of God. <coughs> Hey man, the Bible says start out, brother, just to, hey man, they got old man of God started waiting out a measure and he got his ankles up to his knees, up to his thighs, up to his armpit. The Bible said it, uh, it made a, 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 man, a mighty river and deep enough to swim in, amen. And the Bible said everything at those waters touched Leah. And again, oh my God, when it gets that deep to where God's people can get out, brother, and swim in the Holy Ghost, the things around us are going to live in, amen. Praise God! If it's still of us, they're not to live. Praise God! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Woo! Huh. Listen to the Word of God. Amen. Mm, can't understand it, bro. That's good. 
Bible said in Revelation 12, and this is the Word of God, and I'm, I'm going to try to read through it and preach just a little bit. I ain't going to keep y'all all night, maybe. Maybe we're trying to get them boys over at work to come to church with us. And I told them, I said, I, I know the preacher. Sometimes it gets a little long winded. to bring you a snack when you come. I just try and tell them, brother, just get ready. Come on. Hey, man, they ain't here tonight, but they're coming. You know what? I've been praying, and I was going to ask the church to pray. Didn't know what to ask you or not. I'm just going to tell you already. We pray for revival to break loose in the shop. I'd like to good people. Some of the best men I've ever worked with in my life. Amen. Praise be unto God. But you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see heaven come down. Amen. Amen. I'd like to see heaven come. And them that ain't saved to give her life to Jesus. Hey, come on. Praise God. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a strange thing for me to be in Boone, North Carolina working. But I thank God that I'm there. Praise God. Heavens are coming. Woo! Mm. Can't stand it, bro. Say it can't happen, it can, bro. Amen. And when it comes, there ain't nobody gonna hold it back. Amen. 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 I don't know if I can stand it or not. Praise God, I'll try. Listen to the word of God. Amen. Oh Lord, have mercy. Can't hardly stand it. The Bible said, Amen, praise God. And there was, there appeared in the first verse of twelfth chapter of Revelation. I want you to listen close. Amen. The Bible said, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child, a man cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth, now listen, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was called up unto God and to His throne. Amen. Woo! Praise God. I'm going to preach a little. I'm going to enlighten you. The woman He was speaking about in Revelation that John saw was Mary, the mother of Jesus. And the son, the man child that she brought forth was Jesus. Amen. And she was called, He was called up to God to sit on His throne on the right hand to the Father to intercede for you and me. Amen. Hey! Thank you, Lord. Whew! <coughs> that was about because you didn't know them all over. <laughs> Did you get a hold of that? <clears throat> now the Bible said the dragon stood by waiting to devour him, brother. Do you know what the devil thought? The devil thought that if he could get him crucified on the cross of Calvary, he'd be over. <laughs> Boy, he messed up. Amen. Amen. You know what he done? He stood in the shadows and he began to tremble when he saw the power of God. Amen. Even the soldier that hung him upon the cross. Amen. Amen. He said truly, this is the Son of God. My God. Amen. Hey. I believe that that soldier was saved on that day. Say, so preacher, you crazy. The Bible said, who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Hey, that moment he believed. That's Amen. 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 You know all of that. Exactly. Amen. 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 Huh. And the Bible said, Amen, and the woman fled into the wilderness, for she hath a, had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her a thousand and two hundred and three score days. And there was war in heaven. Now listen. And there was a war in heaven. Yep. Are you listening to me? Yep. There was a war in heaven. <coughs> hey, it happened, Amen. The Bible said, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels, and prevailed not. 
I've got news for you today. And the devil worshippers of the world. Amen. Praise God. The devil did not prevail. Amen. Matter of fact, he lost the battle. Amen. Can I get an amen? I'll say it again. The Bible said he prevailed not. The Bible said he lost the battle. Amen. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. I can't hardly stand it. Praise God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The battle was fought and he didn't <laughs> he did not prevail. Amen. Did you get a hold of that? Amen. What makes you think he's gonna win now? Amen. What are you pleading? I believe, praise God, it's time everybody gets just a little holiness. Amen. Amen. When the demons of hell comes against you, plead the blood. Amen. Tell right, have you ever done it? Amen. Honey, just plead the blood. Amen. Call on the name. That's the only name in heaven. That's got the power to overcome Satan. Amen. Hey. Whew. Mm. <laughs> Lord, that mercy. Did you feel like that? Oh. And prevail not. Trust me. Ain't so much coming to my mind I can't understand. Several years ago, been several years now, God told me to go preach on the street of West Jefferson. And when we got to the street of West Jefferson, they tried to lock us up. They said they had an ordinance against a man, praise God, preaching on the street, and we could not preach on the street of West Jefferson. <coughs> well, I said God told me I'm going to preach on the street of West Jefferson. Amen. Well, we had to go, praise God, through all the city hall and all this, amen. And when I began to preach and, and talk to them there in city hall, amen, the fire of God began to fall, they decided they didn't want me back. So they decided they'd give me any building on the street of West Jefferson to make me a church in. And I told them, I said, that ain't, my, that ain't what God said. God didn't tell me to come to West Jefferson and preach in a building. God said to preach on the street of West Jefferson. Can I get an amen? Amen. I ain't gonna, I'm going to try to make the long story short. We was up there preaching one night and giving out tracts. Cliff's boys were just sitting <coughs> in and they was up there handing out tracts. You remember that? He wasn't hardly big enough to look over the car when, in the car windows. They'd stop and take the tracts from these kids, but now they wouldn't take them from the preachers. And all it said on the tracts is how to be saved. And there's a name on there and his name was Jesus. Amen. 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 And I was preaching one night up our brother and across the street up our praise God. <coughs> right where Frazier's is at. Right where their place is, they man they can come out on the sidewalk there and under a shelter and drink their beer. Bless him all. Right where that place is at. Amen. There's a whole lot of cars there. Subway used to be there then. And there's a bunch of men, young men on the sidewalk walking up and down. And the Lord told me, He said, you go over there and tell them I love them and give them a track. And I said, Lord, send one of these other people. God said, go on. I said, Lord, if you will, send some of these other people. That's a rowdy bunch and don't send me over there, Lord. God said, you go on. I argued for a while with the Lord, and the Lord said, it's you, you go on. So while they was preaching and up and down the street, I made my way through under the red light and went over to where they was at. And I started to shake that boy's hand, and he told me, he said, praise God, I don't want you junk, you've been preaching. He said, I don't believe the way you believe. He said, I'm an atheist. And he said, I worship the devil. I said, you do? He said, yes, sir, I do. Well, I started to turn around. There's another boy run out between the cars. And he said, I make you sick, don't I? I said, you don't bother me. He said, I'm sick and I make you sick. He said, I'm a devil worshiper. Amen. And I said, well, God made you a free moral agent. You believe whatever you want to. And there was a young girl out with them boys. And she was a crying as hard as anybody I ever heard cry. There's another who stepped out and he said he was an atheist. He didn't believe in God. And Brother Bill, I started to walk off. Amen. Praise God. Fell to feed him. And all at once, there's a voice come out of glory. Amen. And he said, tell him, son. And I thought in the back of my mind, Lord, what am I going to say? And all at once, the Holy Ghost came. Amen. And just like somebody diced a cold bucket of water on me. Amen. Hey, brother. Amen. Hey, glory to God. And I asked him a question. My God, I thought I was going to bust. May bust anyway. 
I said, you serve Satan? He said, yes, sir. Well, I said, do you talk to him? He said, yeah, I do. I said, well, when you talk to him again, would you ask him a question for me? I said, ask him how he got kicked out of glory. The Bible said they was a war field. And the devil prevailed God. He was cast out. And I'll get to it in a minute. But according to the Word of God, he was overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Don't you? Woo! When I come to myself, I was out under the red light in the middle of traffic and preaching, looking around, there wasn't nobody left. <laughs> you know what? They heard the truth. Amen. I'm expecting them to meet them in church somewhere and say, Preacher, I'm the one that used to believe in the devil. But I'm now man. His name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible said he prevailed not. Amen. He can blow smoke all he wants to, but he ain't no king of nothing. No. Huh? Come on. Amen. He's a deceiver. The Bible said he was a liar and the father of it. Amen. Boy, I could preach on that a while. <laughs> ain't so much coming left for you, pro. Just a minute. I gotta get through this right here. The Bible said, "Who, Lord God. I'm going to read that again. That felt so good, I'm going to read it again. You don't hear it, do you? The Bible said, Amen, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Praise God if He's going to fight with us, bro. He's going to have to do it down here. Because when I step down to the river, that bird's going to have to get off, amen. Because I'm going to cross without Him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo! Oh, I feel like, brother, you better look at it. It's about time for a run. run. You better pray. Oh, Lord God. And the Bible said, And the great dragon was cast down. That old, old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice, amen, <laughs> saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of His Christ. Praise God for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accuse them before our God day and night. Praise God. Amen. Mm, and I pray to God everybody get a hold of that. Amen. Lord have mercy. And the Bible said, Are you ready? And the Bible said, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Amen. Praise God. Overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Amen. Did you know when you stand before man and declare unto him that you met a man called Jesus and believed on his name and you became a new creature and praise God you got a home in glory. Amen. It's a testimony to the world and the praise God the Bible said you've overcome the devil just by telling somebody what God done for you. Amen. Amen. Mm. <laughs> Shoot. It ain't over yet. Amen. I ain't done yet. <laughs> and the Bible said, Amen. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. And he said, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, Jerry. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I believe you'll just speak to it. Amen. Say, preacher, I'm afraid to talk to the devil. Just go ahead and tell him. Get behind me. Say, get behind me. You ain't pushing me. I ain't about, but 
I'm going to bow him down and I ain't above you. Amen. Because I've overcome you by the blood. Amen. 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 He knows the blood's been applied. And the only way that he can praise God, hinder you, is praise God to put a suggestion in your mind and yep. tell you that you're worthless and you're not fit to even be a child of God. Just tell him, say, I know that. Amen. 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 The fellow told me a while back, said, you ain't much of a preacher. I said, if you ever told the truth, you told it right then. Amen. Amen. I'm not much of a preacher, but the God that I serve hey. is everything in me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey. Truth. He said, you don't believe I said I ain't. <laughs> Touch him, Lord. I had a pistol laying beside of him. He said, you're leaving. I said, I ain't going nowhere. You invited me, and when God gets done with me, I'll leave, but not until. <laughs> So they'll shoot you one of these days, not through God says it's Amen. 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 Bible said there ain't no weapon prepared to come against you, church. Amen. 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 They can threaten you with a cannon. They may tie you to a wall. You know what God will do? He'd send his angels down, praise God. Amen. Amen. If a deadly shot the thing, praise God. He'd blow up. Amen. So you really but praise God. Huh? Couldn't you see him trying to shoot you with a cannon? Shoot holes all around you. Yeah. Praise God, the angel just step down and let you go. <laughs> so that's science fiction. No, it doesn't. That's a documentary fact. I've got the facts. Woo. Fiction is something that's make believe. That's right. Hey! I read the Word of God where Paul and Silas say, man, and Peter was in prison. Amen. Two different incidents. And you know what happened? God sent an angel. Amen. Smote him on the side, said, Arise. Amen. Let's go. And the Bible said when they stood up, Amen. The, the chains fell off of him. And you know what happened? When they started down the corridors of that prison, he just like walking in the Walmart. When they got down to the gates, brother, he swung open. And the angels let him right out of the prison. Amen. Praise God, even. Woo! Sure. <laughs> even the warden got saved. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, yeah, praise God, the angel even led Peter right down the street to where there's a parade. My God, sister. I got to get on with this. <laughs> I've been all over the book. Poor way ain't getting good, though. Amen. Bless him, Lord. I've been waiting on this for a little while, our brother. Amen. Oh, my God. And the Bible said, And when the dragon saw that he was cast under the, unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. And the Bible said, And the woman were given, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. That she might fly into the place, into the place, into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. Amen. Let me tell you something. There is a place that's in the wilderness that God's people can fly into in the spirit of God, and the devil can't touch you. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Have you ever been there? Amen. I have a time or two. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, it ain't nothing like people think it is. Amen. There ain't nothing to touch you over there. I've got to go on. You don't care to you. And the Bible said, And the serpent cast out of his mouth of water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the Bible said, And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which kept the commandments of God and had the testimony of Jesus Christ. You know who he's the warring with? God's children. Those that's keeping the commandments of God and have the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, that's who he's fighting with. But all he can do is war. Amen. Bible says he's walking to and fro as a roaring lion, seeking whom he might devour. You know what a roaring lion does? It just makes a lot of racket. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
Huh? They'll all tell you what they're going to do to you. I used to be a pretty, pretty rough character. You don't know me. You don't know nothing about me. There wasn't nothing I liked better than the fight. And this little big boy from Virginia, amen. Amen. Him and his buddies was in town one night and I had to look up to him and oh he's going he told me all kinds of stuff he's gonna do. But he found out it wasn't gonna be as easy as he thought it was gonna be. Bless him, Lord. Amen. Because that little Lyle's boy from Smithport, North Carolina. <laughs> He wasn't afraid. So I can give him a chase to get out of the truck. I just crawl through the window with him. <laughs> After a time or two of that, he called the law on me. <laughs> Amen. It's time the Bible said, let God redeem us say so. Amen. Amen. Now you can lay down and let the devil tell you what he's going to do to you all you want to. Huh? But it's just talk. It's just talk. He can't do nothing, Jeff, unless you let him. Amen. 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 Praise God. Look out now. Say, preacher, you oughtn't tell your congregation stuff like that. And they're my congregation. Amen. And I believe people ought to know the truth, sister. Amen. I ain't got nothing to hide from you. I ain't always been a preacher. Amen. Are you listening to me? But I'm here to tell you, praise God. That fellow figured out, praise God. Right quick. It's going to take more than words. Amen. Amen, Brother Jerry. I'll tell you what, do, brother. You keep on teaching. Amen. When he tells you you're worthless and you're useless, it can't look up and read just another page. Because mm -hmm. God opened up the Praise hidden God. mysteries to you, brother. He's let you teach in the fire and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost that most people can't get a hold of. Hey. Woo! Praise God! He'll fight you if you're living for God. The Bible said they that live holy shall suffer persecution. Amen. Amen. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> How about? How about? Have you got the victory tonight? Amen. Amen. No other name under heaven whereby men must be saved. That's right. Amen. There's no no salvation given except by this name. <coughs> He's the reason, be you right, that you're still here. Amen. He's the reason, praise God, Amen. When you try to commit suicide, you couldn't die. Amen. You know why? Because, praise God, Pleasant Chapel Church needs you. Amen. Amen. You can't go. Praise <laughs> God. Say, preacher, you're crazy. Amen. It's this man's faith that's going to change his Amen. life. Amen. Amen. Woo, my God. You understand? Amen. It's his faith that's going to change him. Amen. Amen. Brother, it's your steadfastness that'll make a difference in your children. Come on. Praise God. Hmm. <laughs> Made my mind up a long time ago. No matter if anybody in my family wants to go to glory, I'm going Amen. with or without. Amen. I love my wife and I love my children. But they know at my house God comes first. Amen. 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 Jesus comes first. <coughs> and I've lived that way for over 20 some years, yeah. And God's blessed every day. I'm so blessed I can't understand myself sometimes. Amen. I just tell them if God's any better than me, I couldn't stand it and nobody else could do it. Amen. Oh, come on, praise God. I'd be hard to handle. God's blessed me anymore, bro. Are you listening to me? The devil wants you to feel sorry for you, see. And as long as he's got you moping around saying, Well, me. He's got you hooked. Amen. Amen. Do you know one of the greatest powers of witchcraft 
is the power of suggestion. That's right. Amen. Amen. They'll suggest something and then they build off of you. <coughs> they get you worrying about it and then praise God, they've got you hooked because they've got your mind off everything else right. tonight. Right. You ever been that way? Yeah, I have. Amen. I have. You better believe I have. But I believe witches can be saved. Amen. Amen. I know of one that got saved. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're crazy. Hmm. Said, so, you know witches? I know where there's a few at right now that ain't saved. Yeah. Old people like they think that's in a storybook. It's not. Amen. It's not. Amen. I'm going to try to put I've got you looking a little crazy at me now. <laughs> <coughs> got the victory. Amen. Amen. I've got the victory. Amen. I'm going to try my best to hook. No other name, bro. The Bible said he came to seek and to save that which was lost. If you're here tonight and you're not where you are to be with God, he's looking for you. Amen. Amen. And I promise you he'll feel the best you've ever felt whenever you give your life to Jesus. Amen. You know, one of the greatest benefits I ever had, God's blessed me, God's done so much for me that I can't hardly stand it and I can brag on Him every day. And I love to feel the Holy Ghost, sister. But you know what one of the greatest things for me was? When I saw a sheriff's car coming and I had no fear, I didn't have to run. You know why? Because praise God, sister, I wasn't guilty anymore. <laughs> There's been a many a time I had to hit the bushes. That <coughs> once got me a time or two. Mm. One of the greatest feelings in life when you see him coming to praise God. I even told them, they stopped and talked to me. I said, you know, it feels pretty good. I didn't have to run from you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I don't have to run. I ain't done nothing wrong. I'm not guilty. The only thing I'm guilty of is living for Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> He'll come and they'll lock you up for that. That'll be all right. Enough of us get in there, praise God. They won't be able to stand it. Amen. Amen. We'll have me. Amen. 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 I love you. Somebody get you a song. Chris, you sure you don't want to sing? <coughs> Amazing grace. I ain't trying to put you on the spot Amazing Grace off for good though. <laughs> you can do it, sister. God said you could. You may not have another chance. And y'all to remind you what you said to do. <laughs> I'd like to say this. I can talk to song. I was talking today. I'm as proud of this young family right here yeah. as of anybody I know. Hey, I've prayed for several years and to watch you youngins grow in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's amazing to me. Amen. That same Jesus, sister, come down in your living room <coughs> right under that fan yeah. and the wind of heaven blows us all over. He ain't gone nowhere. Great. Amen. Amen. with you, sister. My <laughs> God. <laughs> Fill him tonight, praise God. Amen. 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 Pray. I can't understand. Go ahead and sing. We're going to fellowship. If you need to pray, let me. I'm about to get excited. Man. <laughs> if you need to pray tonight, if it be one that needs to pray, would you come? I wouldn't leave this church with a need in my life knowing that Jesus Christ got all the power in heaven and earth. Knowing that there's power. <laughs> Power Amen. in this Amen. name Amen. called Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know what the Bible says? I'm going to tell you this. You get ready, sister. I'm about to fly. Even the angel told Mark Mary before she ever conceived the child, he said, The Holy Spirit's going to overshadow you. 
you're going to conceive a child. And you're going to bear a son, and his name is going to be called Jesus. And he will save his people. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ has never saved anybody and left them in sin. Amen. 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 No matter what the people of this world are teaching, brother, never <coughs> left the one where he found them. Oh, Lord, God, I can't help. Go ahead and sing, sister. Stand up and sing. Praise God. I thank God for this sister. Listen to the words of Amazing Grace. And whatever she's going to sing. If you need to pray, come on. Come on. We just talked her here. You need to pray. You need to pray. you through.
Yeah, no. Huh? Hey, Eddie's fine. Thanks. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Well, my horse is gone. Come on, baby. Uh, Brian. Trish, I ain't glad or something. I can't do that one. Praise God. Brian, I Bless him all. Are you or not, Brian? Somewhere beyond the grave, there he 